Eileen, everything's gonna be all right. It's awful. Never mind. Try and sleep. I can't sleep. Try, darling. Make your mind a blank. I did, but I keep thinking of Ohio. Oh, Eileen, me too. Why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, why did I ever leave Ohio? Connie Fisher, one of the stars of Wonderful Town, um, coming to the Lowry, of course, uh, at the end of March. Um, tell me, are you excited to be coming here to the Lowry for, for, this, for this show? I'm extremely excited. I'm following in the footsteps of one of my idols, Maureen Lippman. Um, I'm tempted to call her to ask her for tips. Um, obviously, this is a huge success at the National Theatre, so to bring it to the Lowry is just a great opportunity. And, and, and vocally for me, being back on stage, I never thought I'd do it. So for me, this is a, it, it's almost a new me. And, and an incredible show for people who don't know Wonderful Town briefly. Can you tell us a little about that? Wonderful Town is, uh, was written in, in the 50s, set in 38. Um, it's got that real Broadway musical about it, about two sisters, um, both who have ambition, which we both do, um, Ruth and Eileen, and one's a writer, Ruth, the other's an actress, and we go to New York to try and make it in our career. Girls, are you bothered by the clawing attentions of the male sex, huh? I bet you are. Then you need Ruth Sherwood's, that's me by the way, Ruth Sherwood's 100 easy ways to lose a man. Chapter one, now the first way to lose a man. You've met a charming fellow and you're out for a spin. The motor fails and he just wears a helpless grin. Don't bat your eyes and say, oh, what a romantic spot we're in. Get out, crawl on the car, say it's the gasket, and fix it in two seconds flat with a bobby pin. <laughs> That's a sure way to lose a man. Uh, Michael, Michael Xavier, you play the, I suppose, the male interest, the love interest, uh, Bob, Bob Baker. Um, tell us about your role and indeed your take on, on the show. Um, well, the role of Bob Baker, I was, uh, I was saying earlier in an interview, um, that it's, it's, it's a great role for me because it's, he's slightly disillusioned with the world. It's, it's slightly different to the normal characters that I'd play, which are kind of, you know, happy-go-lucky, everything's going for them and then something will go wrong. It's kind of the other way around. He's, he's uh, moved to New York with the aspiration of being a writer, being creative, and actually he's working as an editor and not getting any creative time at all. So he's become very disillusioned with everything. And, uh, and uh, to cut a very long story short, he uh, meets Ruth and falls in love with her. Feel I'm a different guy. It's love. At last, I've someone to cheer for. It's love. At last, I've learned what we're here for. Great songs, a very modern feel as well. I mean, Lucy uh, Van Gas, who plays Eileen, an, an incredibly kind of modern feel to a show that was written quite some time ago. Yeah, it really is modern. It has um, a very sort of now feeling about it. And to be working with the Halley Orchestra is just incredible. I can't wait for that. And it's an incredible collaboration through the, the three big organisations in town, the Halley, the Royal Exchange and the Lowry. And of course... Sorry, I thought you were going to say um, Xavier <laughs> Fisher and Van Gaal. <laughs> well, exactly. Absolutely. The, the big three. The big yes, three. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I've heard it said You'll know it when you see after it plays here at the Lowry, and we've just added a third week uh, of the run here, very exciting to announce that, it goes out on tour uh, nationwide. That's going to be an exciting prospect, isn't it? Yeah, national tour, really exciting. We're going to some great places as well. We're touring um, after the Lowry here for three weeks, and then we go, I think it's 11 weeks until Cardiff, and we finish off at the my home, uh, the Wales Millennium Centre uh, in Cardiff. So that's going to be amazing. And there's rumours that it, you know, if it's a big hit like it was on Broadway, it ran for over a thousand performances on Broadway, so it's a big hit. Maybe it'll run for over a thousand here in the UK. Be my all, or did I just fall? 